it's not something one sees every day. A ballet of sorts, with Skagit machinist Rob Lewis acting as conductor, directing individual members of the orchestra, made up of Skagit electrician constructors, machinists, and dam operators, all working together to support the movement of the prima ballerina. In this case, a hefty 530-ton mass of iron and steel that makes up the rotor assembly of Ross Powerhouse Generating Unit number 42. That's over one million pounds. And as with a ballerina, the movement must be intricate, delicate, and exact, with less than an inch of clearance in some cases, as the rotor is lowered into a hole 28 feet in diameter. Of course, the rotor can't move by itself, but needs the assistance of two cranes and three connecting hooks. Uh, we're working in three dimensions when we're doing this. Uh, we're positioning and centering and dropping down with the three 170 ton hooks. When we're done, it's got to set on the working station blocks in a almost true position such that everything else will register up correctly. This is at the end of the refurbishment. The delicate dance was already performed once before when the rotor was pulled out of the generator. Tearing down the machine took a couple months. Julie Knopf is an electrician constructor. She has been working on the rebuild with other city light workers and the specialized outside contractor since April 2004. It's a major job. We're rebuilding the inside of the generator. They're restacking the iron and we're getting all new coils, which is how they produce the electricity. Unit 42 was put in place at the Skagit Hydroelectric Project's Ross Dam back in the early 1950s. Ross is the third and largest dam in a series of dams on the upper Skagit River, about 120 miles northeast of Seattle. Unit 42 is one of four generators at the Ross Powerhouse, and taking one of these big machines apart means a lot of coordination. Many different crafts and skills are needed to get the job done. While this is the first time this type of rewind has been done, it's not the first time one of the Ross units has had its rotor removed. Probably on average, every 10 to 15 years, one would need to be pulled apart. Orrin Wilson, Ross Generation Supervisor, says it's all part of keeping the machines reliable. We went through some rebuilds in the 90s where they replaced runners on some equipment and did upgrades to others. Runners are the turbine part. And then they went through and just cleaned things up and checked them out. And based on those inspections is where they made some determination to make, uh, to do this generator rewind. As you probably remember from your grade school science class, electricity can be generated by spinning magnets near a conductor, like a loop of copper wire. In this case, it's tons of iron magnetized with electricity rotated at 150 revolutions per minute by the tons of water rushing past the turbine blades. And the loops of copper wire are intertwined with each other to create a stator, which surrounds the rotor and is where the electricity for use is actually generated. There are incredible forces being controlled here by human and machine. There are many challenges taking apart one of these old generators, other than just the dealing with the massive size and weight and the confining space inside the powerhouse. Ross Dam is remote, at the very end of a lake, with steep canyon walls on either side. Everything that came, comes in is barged in, and everything that goes out is barged out. Rebuild itself, the generator rewinding, was the parts were removed by a contractor, shipped back to their home plants, and where the parts were refurbished there. While that happened, the rotor was bolted to the powerhouse floor, and the crews of the contractor, Voigt Siemens, reinstalled the rebuilt parts of the generator, and city light workers went about the work of keeping the other three units working normally, providing power to Seattle. Generator 42 was the first of the four generators to be rewound. It's had problems for several years, which have kept it from performing at its peak efficiency. Before the rewind on this generator, we were only at 80%, so we can only generate 80 megawatts out of this generator, and when they're all done, it'll be 125. It'll be rated for 125 megawatts. Back to the ballet, this same performance will be conducted on the remaining three generators through the end of the decade. I'm Peter Clark for Seattle City Light.